and welcome everyone. Lisa from the Relativity of Paper. I'm going to do a quick video here and this is an ideas video. So we're not actually going to go step by step through building a card or building, you know, projects like that. But this is more to inspire you to show you what you can do with this new Crafting Desert Divas Boo Crew Bundle. So the first thing I want to share with you here are these adorable little candy bags. They're so easy to make. You can use Project Life pouch and your fuse tool. Add some candy to the pouches, fuse them closed. And then if you want, you can just cut you a strip of the paper from the paper pad that comes with the bundle and fold it over and staple it to the edge. Or you can do some die cutting like I did on this one here and make the... Uh, the little label and fold it over the top and staple it down and then you can add some fun elements from the paper pad straight to the uh, pouch. So this little strip that you see me pointing to here, Candy Bat Scary Boo, that is actually part of the paper pad. It's one of the pages that has all these wonderful little strips on it with a bunch of different things and then I just cut that out and add it to my little candy bags because I just think it's adorable. The little I'm mad about candy and the little crazy scientist you see there, he's in the paper pad also. You're going to get a pet. One of the six by six papers has some uh, pieces like that in it that you can cut out that are like rectangular shape and you cut and cut those out and use them in different ways like we did here on the candy. There's also some sentiments in the paper pad. Had. Like you see the one there, it says you're so sweet. And on the other candy bag, I had your spooktacular for you. So keep in mind, there's a lot of fun elements. So in you see, pack. it's just super simple ideas and they don't take long to make because really all you're doing are cutting some things out of the paper pad and also die, doing a little bit of die cutting if that's the route you decide to take. So if you don't have Project Life Pouch and Infuse Tool, just use a Ziploc bag, cut the Ziploc off, fold it over a couple of times and staple it closed and then use your paper to fold over the top of that and staple it down. So, of course, you know we have to do some cards because I'm a card girl. So here I've done some very clean and simple cards using the little stamped images from the Boo Crew Bundle. And um, they're fun images. If you're not big into Halloween but you have grandkids or nieces and nephews and you want to send them a little something for Halloween, this is the perfect way to do it because you don't have to go overboard with the Halloween on this. And you see here she's just a cute little witch and then he's just a little cute mad scientist. So Keep in mind that these stamps are very kid friendly. They're great for kid projects, but I mean you can use them for so many things. So I really love this stamp set. I cannot say enough with this paper because look at him with the little uh, potion bottles and also there's some paper in there that has beakers and test tubes. So this paper can be used throughout the year. It's not just Halloween. So the next project that I'm going to show you real quick is actual, it holds these plastic candy tubes and you don't need anything special to create these. You just need uh, some paper and your hands, really, and a ruler. So to get started with this one, what you're going to do is take a 12 by 12 piece of paper. Well, if you have any scrap papers that are 12 inches long, they'll work too, as long as they're 2 inches wide. So cut you some 2 inch wide strips from 12 by 12 paper. Now. My cardstock wasn't as heavy as I wanted it to be, so I cut two strips and I taped them together. And then I took some Distress ink and inked up the edges of those so that you couldn't see the white. And another reason that I used those two pieces together is because my cardstock was orange on one side and white on the other, and I didn't want you to see the white of the cardstock. So um, if you're using a paper that has a pattern on one side and white on the other, you might want to keep that in mind while you're creating if you don't want the white showing. If, you, if it doesn't bother you, then it's really no big deal. So um, what I did then was I took my 12 inch long by 2 inch wide strips of paper. After I taped them together and inked the edges up, I put them on my scoreboard and I started scoring at a half inch. And then at one and a half inches, you score 
five inches you score, six inches you score. Now, what the half inch is, is it creates a tab for you to add adhesive to, to close this up and create the actual uh, standing treat holder. So once you score, just fold on those lines. If you don't have a scoreboard, don't worry about it. Just use a ruler, put some tick marks down, and fold the paper on those uh, measurements. Remember, half inch, one and a half inch, five inch, six inch. So that'll get you where you need to be with this. Then you just have to either cut or die cut a circle to slide the tube down into. Now if you don't have a die cut that fits it, just take your tube and set it down and trace a circle around it and cut it out with your scissors and you're good to go, no problem. So use that washi tape and wrap it around the top of that tube after you put the lid on it to add a little fun to it. And then I use the tag essential dies to create some tags. For the first one that I showed you there with the little mummy and the goat, or the little mummy there and the trick or treat, he is actually from the paper pad. And what I did was I just put my little tag die cut over him, cut him out, and then put some twine on him and, st and tied him around the tube. For the other one, I used the tag essential dies, cut out some green stamped my image, colored it with Copics, and then I added the little sentiments, and I stapled those on so I didn't have to worry about them falling off. And so then I just took that same twine, wrapped it around, and tied it on. So here you have three different projects creating fun Halloween uh, things that you can gift to people. And I hope that this sheds some light on you that this bundle is not just for planners, it's for everyone. Sometimes you just have to think outside the box with it. Now, the little mad scientist on this stamp set, he can be used year round, keep that in mind, and he can be used for Valentine's too. So, uh, just think outside the box. I can't stress enough, think outside the box. And you will see that there's so many things you can create with this. So, I appreciate you watching. I hope I've helped, and I hope you have a wonderful week. Thanks.